the 2D and 3D concept. 2D concept and 3D concept. But before that, again I remind you, whenever you draw, you should draw full page science diagram or a half page science diagram. What are the different types of diagram you need to draw? Number one in your homework copy, in examination copy, in practical copy and in science project. So there is a slight difference between them. But first today in the second lesson we deal with the 2D and 3D concept. Generally in our book, in maximum book, they give the diagram of the picture in 3D. What is 3D? 3D means 3 diagrams, 3 dimension. That is the length, breadth and height. 3 dimension. Length, breadth and height. And 2D is the 2 dimension. Length and breadth. So, many students they try to draw the 3D. I give you the example. But in science, we always prefer to draw 2D diagram. In science, you should try to draw 2D diagram other than where 3D diagram is necessary. Suppose you want to draw something that is in 3D, it is necessary. So then you have to draw 3D diagram. Other than you should prefer 2D diagram. For example, this is a meter. Now I can draw it in two ways in my practical copy, in my homework copy, in project, assignment, everything. Suppose in 3D, I can draw it in that. So this is the 3D diagram. Do not do, do not do in that way. Make it 2D. It will be very easy. And you should remember for size diagram there is a role of pointing. So you simply point it a bigger. Take another example. This is a conical flux. So in 3D we draw it in that way. Okay. But in 2D we simply draw it. But in 2D, I can simply draw it in there. It is a test. So, always try to draw in 2D. This is a spirit lamp. In 3D, I have to draw spirit lamp in... Uh, this is a spirit lamp, I can draw it that way. Suppose, this is the spirit lamp. So, I have to draw in that spirit lamp. But in 2D, I simply draw it. This is the spirit lamp. Even sometimes in the diagram, even we do not draw the spirit lamp. Spirit lamp means a source of heat. We can uh, draw a symbol that is the triangle. Inside the triangle symbol, it represents the source of heat or heat itself. So today's lesson is that always try to draw it, draw 2D diagram, not 3D diagram. Another lesson, avoid shading, say, many of you apply the same. Okay, so please avoid shading, especially in biological diagram, biology diagram, avoid shading. Uh, sir, suppose I have to apply a shade in that. It needs, it's required. I have to, so without said how it is possible? Yes, my dear, it is possible. Instead of set, you should use the dots. Instead of set, you have to use the dots. Please use the dots. Especially in biological drawing, you should not use set. Actually, uh, when you uh, draw in 2D, there is no need to use set. Uh, 
so avoid say try to use the dots and try to draw your diagram in two dimension and whatever you draw draw it big at least half page or full page it will require less time and do not forget to write the heading also the pointing thank you, thank you.